Hello and good morning. Happy Friday. Today I'm going to a coffee shop. It's a little solo date day again, which I feel like I've been needing for a long time just to kind of like be outside by myself because like I told you guys, I think in last week's vlog, I didn't have a care to go outside. You know what I'm saying? I did not care <laughs> to leave the premises that was my house because I was just way too overstimulated from Montana and LA and all those things. And I just really felt as if I had to stay at home. But now we are back into it. I just love, I've been loving doing this, like just going out by myself, just having that time to get some work done outside of the house. So today we are doing what we were supposed to do last week which was go to Merit, go to Trader Joe's. And I wasn't able to go last week because of the whole like coffee fiasco, which almost happened again this time actually, because I freaking was about to make coffee before taking Gio to work. And I was like, pause, I'm wearing white. Like there's a reason why this didn't work out last time. So let's not make a repeat of that. So I didn't bring coffee in the car. We're actually gonna get coffee at Merit, which I haven't gotten coffee at a coffee shop in a long time. So I don't remember liking Merit all too much, but hopefully my mind will be changed whenever I go in there this time. Because Trader Joe's is right here, I might stop in for like a snack or something. I don't know just yet, but for now, coffee and then some editing. Okay, so that was a good little editing session. I was there for, I think, three and a half hours. So I had a good time. We are now at Trader Joe's. I was supposed to actually go home, but I remembered that tomorrow I'm actually hosting a sleepover for my best friend and I. We are wedding planning together. It's so crazy because I've been friends with Jenny since like fifth grade and she's my oldest friend figuratively and literally. Hopefully she doesn't see this, but I'll be making fun of her age. We've been through everything together life-wise and it's just so crazy because we both got engaged within what? July, August, three months of each other? Insane. And so now we're both planning our weddings together, which is so exciting. That's just crazy, bro. She texted me the day after showing me like her Excel spreadsheet for everything. And she also has like her wedding slated out for next fall, which is so crazy because that that's kind of like when Gio and I are planning to have our wedding too. We don't really want a long engagement at all. And we don't want to get married in Houston in like super humid, hot weather. So we're planning for a fall 2025 wedding. This is the first time I'm talking about it, which is like so crazy actually. I was like freaking out about wedding planning because it's stressing me out and I don't want it to stress me out. I just don't even know oops, where to begin or anything like that. I've just kind of been like all over the place, which is so crazy. I dropped my freaking lens cover. It's so crazy because I actually have event planning experience for a couple years now from back in college. So I figured that once it was my turn to get engaged that it would be easy breezy cover girl you know what I'm saying but it's actually I don't know maybe it's because it's my wedding like my event just for me and Gio that has me stressed out a little bit more <laughs> than usual I just like don't even know where to begin and because Jenny already has her little Excel spreadsheet set up the day after she got engaged I was like you know what let's have a little like wedding planning sleepover. I'll provide the wine, the snacks, all the things. You just come over and bring yourself and your laptop and your ideas and we can, you know, just like hash a little bit of this out together. So that's what we're going to do tomorrow. And because I promised her wine and snacks, I need to head into Trader Joe's and actually get a bottle or two for us as well as just a couple of munchies, things like that. I'm excited. I don't know what bottle I'm going to get. I don't know anything about wine. So we're just going to go in there, see the vibes and hopefully we'll walk out with stuff. <laughs>
Okay, it's time for a haul of everything I got at Trader Joe's. First and foremost, this is the wine that I got, Santa Julia. It is a Chardonnay. Apparently, it is crisp and fresh with aroma pineapple, grapefruit, and apple flavors. We're eating pizza tomorrow, so hopefully that, that pairs well with that. I also, this is an impulse buy, 100%. I don't know why, it just looks so appealing, and if there's nothing about me, I love bread. I have an unhealthy obsession with the bread. I just love bread, just any, any bread of any kind. I, I love it, so got that. I also got some goat cheese. I had this a couple years back and I've just been thinking about it ever since. And now that I've, I've been more into goat cheese, I just, yeah. Another impulse buy, <laughs> chocolate croissants. I don't, I don't know why, don't, don't ask. I don't know why, I just, I just love chocolate croissants. I love bread. Um, to go with the cheese, I got us some Pita Bite crackers, movie night popcorn, snack mix. And last but not least, because we both are lovers of tiny, tiny things, I just love little miniature things. Teeny tiny apple pies. That's all I got in terms of snacks. Tomorrow, I'm gonna get pizza for us for dinner. So I might as well just eat this right now. I cook an egg over medium and eat it with this. I definitely already had pita bread, two eggs, and sausages this morning, but this just sounds so good. Or, pause, I have the Just Bear chicken nuggets from Costco. Maybe I'll make that, cut it up into little bits, drizzle honey over it, and eat it on top of this. Yo, that sounds fire. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Put all of this up. Unbox my honor package, actually. Uh, while the chicken is being cooked, I'll show you guys my honor package because I finally got it in. It's the first of my two packages that are coming from the Transitions collection that just launched. Shop via the link in my bio if you haven't already. But um, yeah, let me, let me put this away and I'll be right back. Chicken is in the air fryer. It's time to do a, a little unboxing. This is my smaller package out of the two. Blackberry purple. Also, I'm not like a big purple gal to begin with, so I didn't get a lot of purple at all. Go to seamless fitted long sleeve top in blackberry purple. I don't think they launched anything in short sleeves this time around, which is why I opted for this long sleeve. Uh, Mellow Soft mid short sleeve t-shirt in ash gray. We all know Mellow Soft. No changes, no nothing. Mellow Soft long sleeve top in forest green. Perfect, perfect, perfect. My chicken nuggets finished at the exact same time that I finished this whole, so love that for us. Oh, and my bread is done. Okay, sweet. I'm going to put this up really quick and then eat my lunch and I will probably talk to you guys later. If not, you'll see me tomorrow because I'm just gonna be cleaning the house before I have guests over, de-clean the house, do some laundry. We actually have laundry going upstairs. I need to do the dishes and just, yeah, I need to clean up a little bit. So if you don't hear from me, then I'll see you tomorrow. The amount of times that I show up on here busted is so crazy. But you know, for the vlogs, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I got this freaking honor active package this morning at like 9 a.m. It's been an hour or two since, and I literally didn't want to open this because I had a couple of work things to get done as well as making myself breakfast and coffee, which is right over here. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox all of this stuff with you guys on YouTube. By the time that this video goes up, the launch would have already been live. My review would have already been live now for you guys to see. I'm posting this vlog in like two weeks, I think. Let's jump right into this unboxing. First impression, everything. This package is actually monstrous. It's ridiculous. Dude, it's like... Well, the effing Christmas in here. Holy crap, there are so many things. I don't even know where to start. Let's go ahead and start with Unified because I don't know, I've just been loving Unified recently, guys. Gorgeous, beautiful. This is burnt cherry, this is forest green. Dude, these three colors, even if mixed and matched, I feel like they would go so well together. We have the Unified Wrap Shorts in forest green as well as burnt cherry. Forest green. I also ended up getting the unified high-waisted shorts in an extra small as well. I wanted to see what this fit like because I heard that they uh, loosened the waistband after hearing people's feedback. So again, by the time that you see this vlog, this stuff would have already been live on the on our website. 
So if you wanted to shop the launch and you didn't get a chance to, then my support link is right down here should you choose to support me. Also in the description as well, pick yourself up some autumn goodies. But I'm going to go ahead and hang these up because tomorrow I'm going to film my YouTube video for it, get some work done, and then later on we are heading to the gym for a big old deadlift day. So I'll see you on a bit. Just as promised, it's been a while later and we are now headed to the gym. So I wanted to show you guys the fit. First of all, did some braids. It's been a minute since I've done some braids and my hair has been long enough for that. I'm wearing Mellow Soft and Sand, literally like one of my go-to Mellow Soft colors. Like sand just goes with everything. So I love it. Underneath, I feel like you can already see the outline of the Unified Micro Bralette, but I'm wearing the off-white colorway. And then for bottoms, I'm wearing the Unified High-Waisted Leggings in Forest Green. An extra small fits me so freaking well. Today's a deadlift day. I'm just going to go ahead and get my water, applesauce, and then we will be on our way. Okay, wanted to do a little voiceover for this back and shoulder day. We are starting out with conventional deadlifts, something that I haven't done literally since March. Like I haven't deadlifted in a long time and I feel like I don't usually deadlift, period. But for some reason, Gio convinced me four weeks ago before this program even started to deadlift. And I was like, F it. And here we are four weeks later, made so much progress since then. And I'll talk about it, you know, in the car after this gym session. But we are moving on to pull-ups. Obviously, one of my favorite movements. If you have followed my page for a while on Instagram or on YouTube, you would know that I love me some pull-ups. So I did three sets of AMRAP here. It's, it's always going to be AMRAP, you guys. It's never going to be like 12 reps, whatever. No. It's AMRAP every single time. But next up, we are moving on to some single arm seated rows. I love me a good row and this machine will just do me right every single time. But after that, I could have done some lat pull downs, but I was a little bit short on time. So we moved on to shoulders. I am doing shoulder press here with, I think, 30s they were actually feeling really good that day but then once i i you know did my second and third set that's when we started feeling <laughs> but last but not least we moved on to some lateral raises i love me some lateral raises it's some of my favorite shoulder movements of all time but that was a solid little workout and you'll hear about it here in a second just finished my workout and now i'm in the line at p terry's that was a really really good workout i was there for two hours which is crazy because i don't usually stay in the gym for that long i do not work out for that long ever my workouts are like at the very very most an hour and a half and that's kind of pushing it but two hours is a little bit crazy i feel good though i, I feel great fueled on literally just my little go go squeeze applesauce <laughs> and last week i attempted 225 five times i failed every single time so my back was blown out <laughs> and i had to rest for a couple days consecutively afterwards like i could not hit legs after that that was crazy came back today fueled on just go go squeeze and we pulled 225 not once not twice but three freaking times that was actually so crazy it was a grind and i was at like okay so basically i'll show you guys the footage somewhere up here but during my third single in my final single i was done after that i freaking pulled it and i was at my sticking point for the longest time holy crap i was at my sticking point for maybe two seconds two to three seconds which in real time is actually a really long time to be at like your sticking point for and that entire rep was insane like i've never grinded for a rep that much in my life so that was a really really good workout but now we're at p terry's getting food for both Gio and myself so give me a second i'm gonna order really quick hi um can i get two of your crispy chicken burgers with pepper jack cheese and grilled onions please and i'll do that uh, in a meal with a root beer, please. Okay. And that's it for me. Sick. Love me some P. Terry's. I haven't had P. Terry's literally ever since we moved. So I'm gonna drive. <laughs> I'm gonna drive and get this food. And um, I may or may not see you guys back at the house. I might just end it here and see you guys tomorrow. So bye. Good morning and happy Tuesday. It is currently, is it even eight yet? 7.58. Oh, why did I not look at that clock? <laughs> it's 7.58, Gio and I woke up early. It's honestly beautiful outside today in terms of the weather and whatnot. This is like the ideal weather for, for me, at least. I just love fall, fall is my favorite season. It's 64 degrees outside today. Almost chilly weather uh, where you like layer just just one layer and you're you're all set you're good to go so happy camper this morning we are going to get donuts because honestly i didn't really care for a bagel this morning i've been eating either a bagel or cereal every single day for breakfast and it's just nice to switch things up a little bit i feel like at this point we've gotten donuts like once a week 
for the past almost month or so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's been nice. So we just go to a local donut shop here and the donuts are honestly really good So I would rather give them my money than a freaking Krispy Kreme or something So we're gonna go get some donuts and I'll head home and show y'all what I get But I'm prepping for a big meeting today and then we are filming a try on haul today for the new I think it's called winter essentials collection. They kind of changed the name on us a little bit So the collection is called winter essentials and it's launching on the 21st Like I told you guys yesterday. So basically all of today is me filming that review uh, Filming the b-roll and then going to the gym because today we are hitting legs not excited for that Especially after deadlifting yesterday, but it is what it is so I will catch y'all in a bit can I get uh, three glaze and one chocolate donut please so our local donut shop was closed and we had to go to Krispy Kreme but I'm not mad about it <laughs> I am oh <laughs> you liked Krispy Kreme before yeah. I'm over it. it's just so awkward it's like two spaces for two other donuts but we just got four donuts three glazed one chocolate this room is a mess it's a mess I don't know why I still have legendary boxes don't look at me my tape measure. I need to actually measure this real quick. Wait. Don't look at that. Don't look at. Honestly, don't look at any of this. <laughs> now I'm gonna put y'all over here. Change and get to filming. Okay, before I dip for real, for real to film this review, <laughs> it is so late. I don't even know what time it is, but I just know that it's late afternoon. Ideally, I would have been done by now, but again, there isn't a lot to film, so it's fine. It's fine, guys. It's, it's, it's fine. This is the outfit I wanted to show you guys because ash gray paired with this new charcoal marl. It's just so nice. This is like the perfect muted steel gray mixed with this like boyfriend sweat type of gray. I love the outfit and I just love how big and baggy these sweats are as well. If there's one thing about me, give me a sweat that just falls on my body. I don't need it to like make my butt look all juicy and stuff. There's no need for that. It's a sweat. You know what I'm saying? So cute. Okay, let's film this review. Good morning and happy Wednesday. Um, today is just a lot of editing. And so I was like, okay, let me hop on the show face real quick, but we are about to go train. Um, I'm also going to the gym that I can't film at. So I'm just gonna leave y'all with this. I'm sure I've posted a quad day already, like in my previous vlogs or so. It's the same one, doing the same program for four weeks, but figured I would show you guys my outfit before we go and before I pretty much just edit for this entire day. But I am wearing the Burnt Cherry Unified Jacket as well as the wrap shorts and then the Effortless Berry Bra. It's giving lover girl. I love this outfit. It is so freaking cute. And because this jacket is on the thinner side, it's not burning me up nearly as much, but should be a good quad day. Let's get it. Got home from the gym, showered all the things. That was a crazy workout. I low-key have been really liking workouts without filming. <laughs> it just helps me focus more like Gio said because I was like, why are leg days hitting at this little gym right now? And he's like, it's literally because you're just focused on the workout and not anything else. But no, that workout was really, really good. We are back home now and we are drinking our little protein shakes. As you guys know, I've been really, really liking the Core Power Elite with 42 grams of protein, but we were just looking for like powder protein powders that we can enjoy without one, just like getting sick of them, but two that are just like a little bit better for our wallet as well. So Gio, apparently he said that Black Magic, it has like the best tasting protein. So we're gonna try it today. I got the sample pack or whatever. So this came with cinnamon toast cereal. It also came with cookies and cream as well as like a chocolate PB cereal. I like cereal flavors, but I feel like I gravitate more towards the fruity flavors because for some reason, they're just so much more digestible and not as heavy. Trying the cinnamon toast cereal one and it has 24 grams of protein. We're also doing a serving of our Mootopia like protein rich milk. So 24 plus 13 is 37 grams of protein. Nice. There's some cereal chunks in there. It did say that it came with real cereal chunks. It said six to eight ounces of milk. That's a chunk of cereal right there. Mm -hmm. Kind of don't like the chunks. Because mm -hmm. it reminds me a little bit too much of like 
the graininess. Mm -hmm. Dang, this is really taking me back to the 2019 bulk days where I would just freaking shoot down protein shakes. Two scoops. No, it's good though. Hello, happy Friday. It has been a, a couple of days since I've last picked up my camera because I've literally just been editing the past couple of days. The same freaking YouTube video that I've been telling y'all about for Honor Active's Winter Essentials uh, little capsule. So there wasn't much to show there and that's literally what I'm doing today as well. But today is different because <laughs> Gio had to do some offsite training for work today. So I figured I would just drop him off. It's like way up north here in Austin. Yeah, so I just dropped him off and I was like, okay, well, let's just go to a coffee shop real quick and get Get some work done. I told myself I was gonna go to a new coffee shop, but also we are almost out of beans and I figured why not just go get some beans and work at the same time. So Summer Moon has my favorite beans. You already know that and I figured I would just work at Summer Moon and then pick up some beans while I'm here. So kill two birds with one stone type of thing. And then once Gio gets out from his training, um, we're going to go get lunch with hopefully a friend. I need to text him and see if he's free actually, because I don't know if he's available, but we're just going to go from there. I'm going to train afterwards. But for now, I'm like, look, we outside, like we, we out here, you know? So I figured I would just pick up my vlog camera and actually <laughs> vlog it. So that was really short lived. I think I was in there for, what time is it? Hold up. 10.46, 10.46. I dropped him off at 9.30 or so. Yeah, actually I think I got here at 10. So I was in there for 45 minutes. Oops, um, barely got any work done, but <laughs> it's still something I guess. And I did get my beans. I actually, well, the whole situation is that I walked in, I looked around, and I promptly turned my ass around and walked back out because it was so packed in there. Holy freaking crap. People were just like sitting outside and whatnot, but the line was actually insane, and all the seats inside were filled. I was like, how am I supposed to maneuver and find a place i could barely even distinguish where the actual register was so i turned around and walked out and then i promptly walked back in because i was like wait the whole point of me going here is to get beans so i did get myself some beans and i'm so happy about this i'm so happy because their seasonal autumn blend is back you guys i love their autumn blend it was like one of my favorite beans in this planet earth i just loved it so much last year and i was bombed whenever they didn't have it anymore because you know it's seasonal and so i told myself that i'm just gonna keep track of whenever they release these so i can get them again and whenever we went back and i think it was like august end of august beginning of september to a little summer moon truck situation they didn't have it yet they were like just wait until october and october is here it's amongst us oh i can finally get my autumn blend whenever i was looking at the little bags or whatever because underneath they have the little like roast date for the beans i don't know which line it is but the first one i picked up said october 2nd and i was like no no no, let me dig and all the other ones said october 9th but this one said that it was roasted on october 10th which makes me so happy because <laughs> it's just like the most recent one it's gonna come out so creamy so good Ooh, i cannot wait to make some coffee with this and then i also got glowing ember i feel like this is just the one that i typically get but i forget sometimes because they have some other really good ones i think i got blue blazes as well as fireside but i feel like glowing ember is the one that i like it has notes of butterscotch some form of chocolate i can't remember but i do remember really liking this and i'm a sucker for a good medium roast bean so both of these are medium roast beans I'm a happy camper. I can't wait to show Gio. And like I said, he's actually already almost done with his training. Uh, he said 12.30. And I was, you know, getting settled for 12.30, but apparently not. So let's go ahead and pick him up and then we will get breakfast, I guess. We have acquired Gio. Hello. <laughs> now we're going to Bamp Saigong, which means Kitchen Saigong. Or well, it says Asian Kitchen right there. Good luck finding the macros on that. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> 